Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 17 of season 2 here at Newcastle. The league season is approaching its finale now. We've 11 games to go, three of which we'll be playing today. We are locked on 43 points with two other sides. Fulham and Leicester City. We start with Swansea, who are currently bottom. We ended yesterday's episode with a game against Derby, who at the time were 19th. They're now 18th, but we've beaten one side recently who were down the bottom. Let's try and do that again now against Swansea. Then with Leicester, who were one of the sides level on points with us. Massively important game. Then Manchester United, who are, or were... And still are top of the table. Not an easy episode. Hopefully we can get a win against Swansea. Then it's very tough games against fellow European chasers Leicester and title chasers Manchester United. Extremely interesting episode on the horizon. We have to hope that we can get the points we need to keep our Europa League hopes and maybe even, maybe even Champions League hopes alive for next season. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Uh, I'm actually going to rotate out Juan Bissaka for DeAndre Yedlin for this game. He's come to me and said that he'd like some more minutes. So I'll give him a go against one of the lesser sides in today's episode. So I want Juan Bissaka back for Leicester Man United. Time to travel to South Wales. Nordfelt in goal for Swansea. Loughton, Clark, Salter, Van der Horn and Declan John at left back. Jake Carroll, Grimes, Fair in the 4-3-3 with Jolasoro. Jolasoro wide right. Uh, Andre Ayu and Jefferson Montero uh, on the bench. They have Jordan Ayu on the bench uh, as well. So let's see what happens next. Pace with Jefferson Montero on the left. That's going to be dangerous. Andre Ayu is a decent finisher. They are the lowest scorers in the league. We're going to have to try our best to... Maintain that that stat stays as is. Hopefully they won't score any, but you know what my defending is like on FIFA at times. So we still try our best to all win the game. And Ante Rebic, by a deflection, will win us a corner. We'll come in from Eduardo Salvio. It's decently delivered. Rebic with the header. There's his second goal for us. He's got his first against Derby. He's got a goal in back-to-back -back games now. One with his right foot. Now one with his head as well. We've been scoring a lot of corners recently. Really pleased with that development. Our set pieces have been something for us to fall back on in the past couple of episodes. And that's a very good header. 1-0 early doors. Back to Zakaria. Popped his cheek. Drilled out to Salvio. Great footwork from him. He seems to be glued to his foot there. We'll give that to Philip. He'll get it to Rebic. Rebic will get it back to Philip. Rebic has gone again. Oh, but it won't quite drop for him. Philip picks up the loose ball. Salvia, Salvia will go back to Philip. There's Rebic again. Spins well on his left foot this time. Oh, desperately unlucky off the bar. Trying to head there, there with Maximilian Philip for a secondary effort. And he didn't even challenge for the ball. He just fell over backwards. Really unlucky there, Ante Rebic. Not able to get his second goal and our second goal of the game. It would have been his first on his left foot for me as well. Which would have been nice to see because he's had a couple of efforts on his left-hand side that haven't been very well taken. Andre Ayew denied there by good tracking back by Andre Yedlin. He does like to get involved in the forward attacks as well. Kennedy can't win that header, but that will be our throw. Danger averted. Five minutes or so to go till half-time. Not sure what Kennedy was doing there. And we still remain 1-0 in front for the time being. Yes, for the time being. Ayew. Oh, arriving. Oh, Jefferson Montero hit the bar. The follow-up is blocked by Zakaria. Both sides have hit the bar now. That was a hell of a hit from outside the box. Jefferson Montero will deliver the set piece. They might equalise on the brink of half-time here. Get rid of that with DeAndre Edlin just to make sure. There will still be time. 30 seconds or so if they can work it quickly towards the box to get themselves a chance. But no, that's gone straight to Ruben Loftus-Cheek. We'll get rid of it and it's half-time. Into Carroll down the line looking for Joel Osoro again who's very fast luckily for me he's not that strong though we are able to break away quite nicely actually on the counter here Ruben Loftus-Cheek is with me as is Ante Rebic we'll go back to Zakaria Max is on the outside 
Philip Max with that 94 crossing takes a deflection, nodded back into the middle and good save by Nortfelt. Eduardo Salvio very nearly getting us the second there. Asoro going off. Asoro is on in his space. Rebic could be underneath this from another corner. He unfortunately is not. It's McKay that's come on. Oh, it's a great ball in. Zakaria scored a header in the last episode from a corner. On this occasion though, from open play, his header is saved. Reyes through that gap there to Loftus Cheek. Around the corner to Philip. There's Rebic. Philip will hopefully go again, which he's done well. Can we get him to that loose ball? No, we can't. Van der Horn defends it nicely. Will be my throw in there just before the hour mark here. Go back across there to Ruben Loftus Cheek. And there to Philip. There's the car. Can we squeeze it through that gap to Rebic? Yes, we can. Oh, I tried to poke that on to Maximilian Philip. Took a deflection. It will be another corner. Chance again to get ourselves another goal. Flipped well. away. Reyes will pick that loose ball up. I say he'll pick that loose ball up. He'll just kick it and then it's loose again. Philip with the throw well, to Salvio. Know. Back to Philip. Delivery's Delivery good. Oh, Rebic. Oh, it might drop to Rebic. It has done. He's got another one. And that one was on his left foot. Not entirely too sure how that chance came about. The cross was meant for Kennedy. It then changed the man that I was in control of by itself to Rebic whilst the ball was in mid-flight. It hit the defender. Fell to Ante Rebic who then just takes a touch. The defender then knocks it down to him again. A secondary defender. And then he toe pokes it home. Two for Rebic. Two for me. Three points on the horizon. Ball up nicely. Are you back? Nicely done by Reyes. Grimes still gets the loose boil. Loose boil? Loose ball. Leroy Fur into Andre. Are you out to Declan John? 15 minutes to go. Swansea looking for their way back into it. We mentioned earlier, they're the league's lowest goal scorers. But the keeper on the floor there, Jefferson Montero, could have... Had an effort. He does have a second effort. Oh, oh I'm glad the keeper reacted to that eventually because that was squirming in. Still 2-0. I'd like to say that that scoreline will stay the same, but Swansea are pushing. Almost interception, and that should be game now. Thank you very much, referee. A 2-0 win against Derby, followed by a 2-0 win against Swansea. They might be down the bottom. Derby and Swansea, but they certainly gave their best in both games. Unfortunately for them, it wasn't good enough. No, Bournemouth could do me a favour against Chelsea. That'd be great. Uh, I'd very much appreciate if Chelsea dropped some points, but we need to ensure that Leicester drops some points. We are up to... Uh, we're up to fourth, but the other teams haven't played yet. I got slightly carried away there. We played one more than everybody else around us, but hopefully other results will go in our favour. The board reckon we're currently not on track. I can't do anything about season ticket increase sales. That doesn't update until the end of the season. Leave me alone. Right, so we'll have a quick train and then we'll go and play Leicester and ensure, or hope to ensure, that we can get ourselves another three points or at least avoid defeat to stay in the hunt for those European spots. Right, Leicester. Kasper Schmeichel in goal. Ricardo Pereira right back soon to Maguire and De Cilio. Finishing off their back line, Diawara and Ibarra holding. Mane, Ilicic and Ibi in their forward midfield through with Kevin Folland up top. There's a lot of new faces in that Leicester side. It's pretty unrecognisable from the team that they have in real life. The league position is pretty unrecognisable from where they've been other than that one season. But I guess the same could be said for our Newcastle team. So both sides have obviously strengthened in this save and both sides... Reaping the rewards of that strengthening by finding Eduardo ourselves, including Leicester in this statement, in the, with a shout of European football next season. Kennedy will get on the end of that. We'll whip Kennedy. the ball in first time. Ooh, well. Cecilio will head behind. Eduardo Salvio was waiting. Ball delivered in. Rebic is there again. They Harry Maguire well wins the header. header. Kennedy down to Salvio. Early ball in. Rebic's underneath this. No. Ruben off his cheek. Can't either. And Diawara and Ilicic will move it forward for Leicester. Come back here to Diawara. Nice tackle by Zakaria. And Rebic can play Maximilian Philip in. A mistake from the Leicester back line. Not punished thanks to a superb save by Kasper Schmeichel. How has he kept that out? Wow. What a stop. Zakaria pounces. Rebic with the through ball. And then... It's... And he... Incredible fingertip save from Kasper Schmeichel. The ball, I'm sure, would have been headed in. And he's just lifted it slightly enough to mean that it goes off the crossbar. <sighs> On such things, games are won and lost. On such fine margins, the difference between qualifying and not qualifying for Europe might be won or lost. What a save.
Folland played in. Are they going to go at the other end and actually score themselves? No, because Philip Max puts an end to that. Cross to Bora. Not wide to Evie. Oh, that was really poor. If that didn't take a deflection, which it didn't, and that's one of the worst shots we've seen in this entire Premier League season. Sorry, pal. That was woeful. Kennedy racing forward. Philip played in again. He's got Harry Maguire with him for company, though. In fact, he's got a couple of defenders there with him for company. He's done well to turn away from them both to work the space. And Rebic oh, found some space of his own, but could save by Kasper Schmeichel. We are going to have to be at our very best to beat the Dane today. He is in top form. Diawara or to Ilicic. Leicester actually have Fulham in their next game, which is also a very important game with regards to the challenge for European spots. Because Fulham were the other side at the beginning of the episode, I believe, if my memory serves, that were also locks on 43 points with us. Leicester have their own fate in their own hands right now. As do we. But if we can get a win in this second half then our fate will look slightly better than theirs over the upcoming games. We will have less than 10 games to go by the end of today's episode in the Premier League. And there's still some very important fixes to be played. Maximilian Phillip played in here, trying to back in, can't, try to cross, blocked and cleared away. Sakaria has done that multiple times. This season, Rebic around the corner, Maximilian Philip. This time, this time. We said we would have to be at our very best to beat Kasper Schmeichel in this game. That wasn't the very best of goals, but it was great intercepting play from Zakaria and then good work around football out wide to work it back to the middle. Maximilian Philip in space. Believe perhaps another assist for Ante Rebic as well, who played him in. And a nice little finesse finish from Maximilian Philip. We have a desperately important goal here against Leicester. We are 1-0 up in arguably, at this stage of the season, one of the most important games we've played all year long. There's the interception. Kennedy into Philip. Looking to return the favour. It will reach Ante Rebic. It won't reach Ante Rebic. Got the throw, though. He'd be going off. They're making a change. We'll throw that in there to Maximilian Philip. Steps away from one man. To Caria. Kennedy's made a run. Oh, but he can't get it under control properly. Can he win it back? Yes, he can. Can he turn? Yes, the shot's good. But Schmeichel holds on well. Forward there to Kevin Folland. Ilicic up wide to Mane. Oh, it's a great ball in. Off the post and away. Well, now we've both hit the woodwork at that end of the field. Ivora forward to Kevin Folland. He turns well, drives well. Good save by Depravka. Leicester are pushing. They don't want to lose this game. They know how important it is. Claude Puel making more changes. Diabate came off the bench earlier on in the game and has hit the woodwork. Can he get himself potentially an assist there? No, as Salvio heads away. Kind of Pereira picks it up. Oh, if Philip could have stolen that off him, we might have been in for a counter. He borrowed through. Folland! How's that for a first time hit on your left foot? Leicester 1, Newcastle 1. That's an extremely good goal. First time, Bosch. Pick that out. Great goal. Kennedy. Zakaria. Steps away from the challenge. Bit of a lunge there, but no contact made, so no foul given. Philip through the gap looking for Rebic, who could hold up the ball nicely here with Bora around him. Here's Rublev to seek. He has been known to score the odd banger, but... That was straight down the throat of the keeper, frustratingly. Really good opportunity, that. He had the space to try and find a corner. And he has done that on numerous occasions in this save. So I'm quite frustrated that he wasn't able to do it on that particular opportunity there. Diawara out wide to Diabate rather than moving forward. And that may well be the reason why the final whistle is going before we see another chance. Oh, it could so easily have been 2-1 win with a late goal there with Ruben Loftus cheek but unfortunately he didn't get the cleanest of connections on it. Chelsea win. Liverpool lose. Arsenal lose. Liverpool have dropped from top of the table earlier on in this season. Oh, great. Yeah, no, sorry, lads. I don't want the Indian international management job, if you don't mind. I'm a bit distracted right now by the Premier League. We find ourselves in fourth. However, if Everton win their game in hand... They will go back above us into fourth and we'll drop to fifth. But we want to finish at least fifth. Fifth I'd be happy with. 
So we'll have to wait and see how the rest of the season transpires. The only thing is, up next for us is the slight matter of Manchester United. United. David De Gea in goal for United. Four at the back. Alessandro Ferenzi, Chris Smalling, Eric Bay, and Luke Shaw. That's full strength, you would say. Fred, Matic and Pogba. Very strong again with Lingard, Lukaku and Alexis. In the, last, in the like second half of the season, big teams play their full strength sides. In the first half of the season, they don't. It's weird. Man United, though, very, very good. Clearly having a good season. Sat top. This will be hard. Ball by Pogba out to Alexis Sanchez. Ball back to Pogba. Wagner gets his foot in. Cavantes played for something. Not really too sure where the foul was, but Salvio will look to get away from Luke Short and can't. Next minute, Philip though, will look to get away from Bai and can. Back to Salvio, looking for Ante Rebic. Could be a dream start. He swings at the ball, but there's a defender's leg in the way. Win this, please, Aaron. Well up. Salvio. Kennedy, onto your left. And let fly. Blocked by Chris Smalling and cleared away. Well, both sides on the attack in the opening five minutes, proving that this might well be a very entertaining fixture. Thankfully, that will fall straight to my goalkeeper. Here, keeping possession. Kennedy again. Kennedy. There's Zakaria. Through that gap, looking Rebic. for Rebic. That's a lovely spin. Rebic! Good save by De Gea. Fingertip De Gea. stuff that keeps it out. Chance from the corner. corner oh, headed away by Fred. Well defended. Well defender. defended. Let's see if we can work a secondary opportunity, shall we? We'll just cheek out to Salvio. We'll play the one two. It's deflected and will drop to Pogba. Never mind. No secondary effort. Now United on the counter. Oh, we might not be done yet. We might not be done yet. Zakaria. Who there to Philip? Oh, looking for Rebic. It does reach him, but he can't get it under control. It just came at him at a funny angle. Oh, they can't seem to get it away at the minute, Man United. It just keeps coming back towards their back line. Lingard down the line to Lukaku. Oh, that's a great ball in. Alexis with a header off the post. To Karia. Why, I, I was trying to hit B to get him to clear it. I think he just stumbled in challenging with the, the attacker and wasn't able to get rid of it. As such, they get themselves a corner here. Pop with the delivery. It's a good one. Salvio heads away. Just as we weren't effective with our set pieces in this game so far, they have been effective with theirs. One thing we do know, though, is that we have been effective with our set pieces in recent games. Well, we might be effective on the counter-attack here. Smalling against Rebic. Rebic's back on his right. Didn't fancy it on his left. Not with the way that he's been finishing so far on his left foot. At least Rublev to seek. Fancy it on his right. Well blocked by Nemanja Matic. You can tell this is a game, as was the one against Leicester, being played between two sides that are in good form and having good seasons. It's very close. A point against Leicester... And I'd be delighted, I think, with a point at Old Trafford, to be completely honest. Zakaria. Move along to see. There's Philip. There's Rebic. Kennedy was arriving. We'll use Philip. Look for Rebic again. Oh, the first time shot goes in. Ante Rebic on the score sheet again. Is his introduction to the side and are his goals since arriving going to be what sees us solidify in the European spots. Maybe so. We wanted him to create a partnership with Maximilian Philip. It does appear that he's done exactly that. Kevin Folland was able to get a first-time shot against Leicester. That's what gave me the confidence there to try the first-time shot with Rebic and hope that it would give me a good opportunity of going in. Ordinarily, I might well have taken a touch there, but after seeing Folland score his goal, thought I'd give it a go. I'm pretty glad I did. Manchester United nil, Newcastle United one at Old Trafford. Although the first half does have a few seconds left in it. Matic out to Alessandro Florenzi. Forward there to Jesse Lingard. Good block by Rivaloftis. Cheek corner for our hosts. Will we be in front at half time? Yes. Yes, we will. Zakaria out to Salvio. Jockey one way there to then go the other. Juan Bissak looks to get in behind Luke Shaw. He's turned well. That's a good delivery too. Kennedy was underneath it. Rubeloff to seek will be underneath this. At least it was going to be until Paul Pogba decided he wanted to go up for the header. And actually, Rubeloff to seek has come off worse there and ended up staying down and holding on to his shoulder. And he's not, he's only just, in fact, gotten back to his feet. Rifle this up wide, looking there for Eduardo Salvio. We use the run of Wan Bissaka. 
I will see back to his feet and looking like he wants to be involved as well. Oh, couldn't quite pick up the run of Maximilian Fulop there. I want to take Rubeloft's cheek off to try and minimise uh, any potential damage there, but I don't know if if it's a dislocated shoulder, if it might keep him out for a couple of weeks. I kind of need my best central midfielder available at all times at this stage of the season with so much on the line. Could really do with that just being a bruised shoulder rather than a dislocation. We'll find out at the end of the game what exactly the injury is. Oh. For the minute, I can't find a second goal to put this game to bed. But so far, we haven't needed a second goal to put this game to bed. Because United haven't threatened in this second half yet. Although there is bound to be a threat at some point. May well even come. Right now, Fred. Fallen kindly for Pogba. Fred. Good footwork. Florenzi. Fortunate again. Lorenzi whips it in. Pogba's there. Zakaria heads away. Oh. What a hit from Fred. <laughs> that was unreal. Thankfully, the Pravka was lively. Jesse Lingard with the delivery. And Wagner using all six foot six of his frame to get the ball away. Fred to Pogba. That was a little bit unnecessary. Especially when you're losing 1 0, Pogba. You're not going to win yourself any fans by doing. When you win yourself any fans' favours by doing that. And you're losing again. Philip, stay on side, Ante. He's in. And inside. Oh, that far away from a game winning goal. Down the line to Pogba. Shelby drawn out of position. Here's Romelu. Get rid. I was hoping you get rid up the pitch. I guess away is away. Anthony Martial on for Alexis Sanchez. Wagner heads that only as far as Jesse Lingard. That touch could sit up nicely for an effort on goal. Oh, I don't know how Manchester United haven't scored in this game of football. I genuinely don't. Shaw forward to Lukaku. Back to Luke Shaw again. Get rid, please. Thank you. Nice chested pass there from Rebic. That might well have kept us in the chance of winning this game because I needed him to get to that to waste some time. Max will pull this back into John J. Shelby. He's got the space for a shot, so we will take it. It's blocked. Shaw with a header. You know, going backwards when they need to go forwards at the minute. If anything, sideways is the best they've managed. Martial across to Fellaini. You need to go forward, boys. You're not. That's going to be game. Manchester United weren't ruthless enough in that game they did have opportunities hitting the post multiple times and of course drawing saves out of Depravka but in the end oh Everton lose as well although it was to Chelsea so Chelsea will remain in the hunt Leicester haven't played I didn't think to look for a Fulham result but with now eight games to go we have ourselves oh, a two point gap although again it could drop to a one-point gap if Fulham win their game in hand. We are on 50 points. Only six away from the top. That won't be happening, though. But we're still in the hunt for Champions League or Europa League football next season. Oh, and we play Fulham tomorrow. Oh, God. Fulham, Brighton and Burnley. And we have Everton to play still between now and the end of the season, as well as Spurs. Our future is very much firmly in our hands. We play two of the sides around us chasing that fourth and fifth spots. Win those games. We might offer up ourselves the opportunity to perhaps slip up and still make it. I can avoid slipping up altogether in every regard. Then that would be absolutely superb. Leroy Sané leading the way with regards to top goal scorer charts right now. But Ante Rebic has certainly stepped up now. Let's have a quick look and see... What he's that in fact, if I just sort by position. Ante Rebic stats. Four goals and three assists in seven games. It's exactly what we needed when we needed it to push for Europe. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. I'll see you next time.